Okay, here we go. Wednesday <clears throat> tarot tidbit. It's so weird. It's warm out. I have the windows open. And I actually have some mild spring allergies <laughs> in February. Okay. Okay, here we go, you guys. This is a general reading message for the day for everybody. Apply it where you can. Fortunately, it's for everybody, so it may not resonate with some of you. I'm going to do three cards and then two cards from Souls Oracle Deck. Wednesday, sorry, February 21st. <clears throat> oh. All right, three cards for Wednesday. What can we expect for Wednesday? One more shuffle. Okay, here we go. All right, on the <laughs> on the bottom of the deck we have the chariot in reverse, which means you might be feeling a little static today, like uh, in a static. In other words, you're not really moving anywhere or going anywhere or doing anything. Like something's like stuck in the mud but that's Wednesday if you ask me all right first card drawn sorry <clears throat> the hanged man second card six of Pentacles in the reverse and third card king of swords so sorry I always forget to try to so you guys can see so, the hanged man, let's talk about that. The hanged man is, um, someone's, sometimes this can mean waiting for clarity or just feeling like, you know, if you put this next to the chariot, it means you're almost like, it's like life is almost, the universe is actually holding you back so that you have to think about something. You have no choice. You've got to think about it. Something's on hold here, but it's so that you can get better, a better handle on it or, or uh, a better idea of what's going on. You're being forced to think about something. You're looking at things from a different perspective. Um, and um, thinking something through, whether you like it or not. Uh, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse is a lack of cooperation, or this could be financial, like you just don't have a lot of money right now, like things aren't flowing. Um, in a relationship, this could mean, you know, you're not getting any cooperation, like you, you know, if you, the Chariot and the Six of Pentacles reversed, if you, it, or the chariot reversed, I should say, and the six of pentacles reversed, it's, they kind of go hand in hand. You're kind of stuck in the mud. Nothing's moving, and it's because no effort. You're not getting any cooperation, either from another party or from maybe from the universe. Um, the third card is the king of swords. This could be someone in your in your uh, in your vicinity, or this could be you, Gen uh, the King of Swords is, is an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, I've seen this person in readings for like more than a few days now. So um, some of you are dealing with, sorry, <laughs> I'm burning some sage, just like killing me. Uh, 
sometimes these people are um, like judges or lawyers or, or um, uh, pe big picture people. People whose words have weight. It could be your father. It could be maybe your husband. Maybe you look at him that way. Um, these people are, are fair and just and educated. So, yeah. You're looking for something to move forward in, in a situation. I mean, this could be, this could be legal with this card. Uh, you could be waiting for some sort of decision and it's just sort of taking forever. Um, and you're just kind of hanging out, debating the whole thing. Um, whether you, this could be your, this could be your boss. And you're waiting on some sort of decision for a job. The chariot and the chariot right side up is a card of success as well as movement, movement forward. Um, and in the reverse, it can be, um, it, it is something that isn't moving forward. <clears throat> something that isn't working or stuck in the mud. And I see this a lot for, um, for those of you who are having car problems, <laughs> the chariot, this could have to do with your car. You could be forced to think about something because you're not getting any cooperation from, from, you know, maybe you're waiting for the car to be fixed, but I see this more of a, this is either a, a, a legal or financial or relationship thing here. Let's see what the Oracle says. Cards for today, please, Oracle. What can you expect for Wednesday? One more, please. Okay. So the first card that popped out was Surrender. And that reads, I can release my need to control. So the hangman is all about, you can't control it. You're being held back for, for some sort of purpose here. The next card that popped out was doubt. And that says, I release the need to know all the answers. So these two cards go hand in hand. So you can't waste your time trying to control things that are are beyond your control that just brings your vibration down so this is like the hardest exercise uh you have to kind of in your head if you if you're experiencing frustration over a situation that's not moving forward and you can't budget and and um you know you don't want to go beyond your boundaries um you have to surrender that control. And for those of us like Aries people who are control freaks, <laughs> it's incredibly difficult um, a lot of the time. And you know, you suffer doubts and that doesn't feel good as well. And so releasing your need to control is a really great exercise in any situation. You have to, you have to focus on something else, but um, I physically have to do an exercise in my brain when I uh, need to release control of something. I have to, I close my eyes and I imagine my hands out in front of me clenched in fists like I'm holding on to something and then I imagine myself just opening my hands and trying to just letting whatever it is go. And that's what you have to do here you guys, whatever the situation is, financial, legal, work, love, um you can't control everything. Not today. <laughs> so we'll see if tomorrow is an action day. But today is a day of uh, reflection and surrender. Okay. Have a good day. See you Thursday. If you need a private reading, I can be reached at pthaggett at hotmail.com. Please like, share, comment.